Is Mike the loser sent me? I'm not I, sure. I remember, man, about a month ago, K9 was in a very dark place talking to me about how he's going to main Sheik and all that jazz. But looky, looky what we have here. <laughs> looky, looky. We yeah. got the wolf. Yeah, better Sheik. Yes. All right, here we go. Already starting off with a decent amount. Oh, going against the other Sheik, the, 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 the thinner <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah. The more, the more nimble one. Yeah. And already, Arsene is out to play. And usually that's kind of a good thing, but when... When you have, when you're behind this much, it might not be so good. K9 gets the stock here while Arsene's out. That's such a huge lead. But yeah. right now, Eon pivoting in. But how much Arsene does he have left, man? Mm -hmm. He's been gaining him a lot of damage uh, even with uh, Arsene available. So he's been losing that meter even faster. Hey, I, didn't, <laughs> I hear a lot of people say this like, okay, damn. If you got Arsene in like the first 20 seconds, that means you're getting like blown up in the beginning, you know? Right, right. But like, you can still make the comeback, but it doesn't look like Eon got too much percent. And he's already sitting at 120. We're probably not going to see a second Arsene, especially when Wolf is one of the characters you're playing. That's a yeah. really big thing to factor in against uh, when you're playing against Joker. It's like, how consistent is my kill power on my character? Because if you're one of those characters that can struggle to kill, you know, get a character up to 150 average, you're probably going to have to deal with two Arsenes. Yeah. But Wolf probably doesn't have to deal with that. Before it's a wow, falling out of that second hit. What's he looking for? Back throw, maybe? Okay, gonna go wow, for the stage control Wow, that second might actually come out to play, though. Yeah. Commentator's curse, am I right? Yeah. Let's see, though. Oh, he's looking for the grab. I think yeah. he wanted the back throw there. The back air with the max rage, and Eon still holding on to the stock, and the Arsene is about to pop as well. What a turnaround. Yeah, that was just a good jump read, and all of a sudden, yeah, that's uh, Eon, and he's about to get Arsene in about three, two, one. There it is. There you go, yeah. And if K9 doesn't get the kill on this ledge trap, oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, wait, no down smash. I wow, think I, I'm really surprised that we didn't see a down smash because even there's no mix-up at that point. Because mm -hmm. you hold down, like, there's no hitbox on that upbeat. Yeah. Maybe and a miss input because he might be rocking Maybe, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I know that uh, with the Joker's upbeat, a lot of people said it is a lot easier to two-frame than other characters is. So, I mean, that's another thing to consider. So, I don't know why you wouldn't want to just do down smash like we said. It might have been a okay. miss input. Now he's dead. Sliding right into that back throw. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that was, like, kind of looking scary because he had, like, max rage Arsene. But... You already know, we got the bread and butters here. The tech chase, no, doesn't catch that directional air dodge, but mm -hmm. a solid 36% yep. off that combo. Oh, almost gets, he, he waited for the uh, the tech option too. Right. But, oh. Ooh, okay, that was smart, yeah. Of course, the uh, Wolf Flash never uh, sweet spots to the ledge. It'll always throw out the hitbox first, yes. so you can just touch a card in that, you know, reflect physical attacks and uh, get that going. And, you know, rack up the 51% on the side. Why not, man? Mm -hmm. Why not? And that the gun is so good with the uh, the Arsen as well. And Eon, yeah. how much mileage will you get off this single Arsen, Eon? Death? Oh, he tried to go for a second one, man. Yeah, he almost got two whole stocks off that Arsen. And yeah. And when you're playing as Joker, it's all about the Arsen value. Uh, mm -hmm. va value, yeah. Um, it it also matters how you're playing with uh, non Arsen, but. Oh. I respect the attempt to try and go in for an edge guard, but also it's Joker. He's very nimble. And when he has the gun out, then he can, you know, switch all over the place and like how he decides to pick his movement options. So he had the double jump as well. Yeah. So it's kinda like the the arc he got sent wasn't too great to set up for an edge guard, but you know, K9 was in that position. I'm down a stock, I need to make something happen. Right. So kind of, yeah, like you said, don't really blame him for it, but unfortunate reversal there. Eon will take game number one where oh dang, <laughs> maybe he is a sheep man. <laughs> Oh man, we're go we're going back to that dark place, man. The dark place. We got we got the black sheik skin, you know. Yeah, <laughs> we got the we got sheik versus better sheik. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I mean, sheik has some stuff. Yeah, sheik has some stuff, but uh, it it can be difficult at times to just get that raw kill. And no way, not like that. I think not that was like supposed to be that. a uh, that grenade was probably supposed to be bouncing fish or another up B or just some kind of yeah. recovering mm -hmm. tool. Yeah. Um, and wow, grenade's still out here making Sheik SD yeah. in uh, 2019, man. Yeah, even it, even though you can act out of it, it still takes forever to pull out, you know. But anyways, uh, yeah, uh, this is a terrible position, absolutely terrible position for a right. Sheik to be in because usually you try to thrive off of your, your neutral exchanges and it's like, okay, even if I don't take the stock early, then right. I still have like a percent lead and I can eventually get the kill. But right now, no, it does not look like that at all. Yeah, and I mean, he... he Really, K9 needs to set up. He either needs to play like amazing, or just set up a lot of great gimp situations. Get this Joker off stage. But mm -hmm. Joker, like you said, has uh, a very solid recovery when not in Arsene, and man, also using that counter, best counter in the game, free. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a DLC counter. Yes. <laughs> if I've ever seen one. The DLC counter special, and right now trying to 
I mean, one nice thing about Sheik is uh, Sheik has like pretty long combo strings and great multi-hit moves that can kind of drain Arsene. But you got to survive, barely surviving that backer, 134% here on K9. But the up smash, with or without Arsene, will take that slot. Yeah, just completely call the K9. It's like, okay, you're Sheik. You like to be in the air. You're probably going to jump fair. I'm going to just go on in with an up smash. Very nice stuff. Yusuf is there to set up into a combo. I don't think anything else, though, but still. We're looking at a potential. Oh, man. Oh my I God. thought that <laughs> yeah. was going to gimp him, dude. Like, oh. When Joker out here gimping Sheik, that's when you know. Yeah, that was uh, not looking too good. Oh, and he got the Rebels guard up in time. But he's going to lose the stock finally to the Bouncing Fish. But he's got two more to work with. Yeah, and honestly, this wouldn't even be that much of a position if we didn't see that uh, early SD coming out from Kana. Like, he's honestly not playing that bad. It's just him being down an entire stock made this very hard. Because he's also playing... Like that whole, after that first dog SD, he's playing like in not the lead. So he, he can't really camp as hard, can't really abuse needles as much. Yeah. When you're down as Sheik, then you're just forced into uncomfortable positions. Like you want to be comfortable as Sheik, but that's to being denied that. And that's a very comfortable setup for Eon, though, down air into up smash with Arsene. Yep. Where have we seen that before? <laughs> yeah, and that's probably one of the stronger on-stage setups for Joker. I mean, he does have a bunch of up-air drag-down stuff, but especially with Arsene, and especially not being able to tech grounded spikes, you hit that down-air right into the follow-up, usually uh, up-smash, and even at later percent, you can just go into the up-air. Oh, damn. Like, Eon just switched to Fox. Yeah, I mean, the Joker was working out, but Eon's main is, uh, is Fox, and um, I've talked to Eon about this particular matchup, Wolf-Fox. Uh, I know Light used to think, I, I haven't talked to Light like as of recent, but you know, towards the beginning of the meta, a lot of the Foxes thought that Wolf beat Fox. But uh, I know so, a lot of the Foxes now, or not a lot, but I, at least Eon, he thinks that this matchup isn't as bad as he thought. Mm -hmm. You know, Fox, definitely a character that controls the neutral really, really well. Um, one of the best neutrals in the game, in my opinion. He has yeah. a frame four dash attack, one of the best, if not the best dash attack in the game. and. You just got that speed and that fastball speed. You can do up, down, all around, man. It's so hard to catch this guy. <laughs> I think as people got more comfortable with how the movement works in Smash Ultimate, like people are able to utilize their character speeds and like the movement options to use it more effectively in neutral. So Fox definitely one of those characters that can use his speed to an advantage to you know pressure his opponent, scare them into being in shield just like that. You can see like K9 being stuck in shield for a very long time. Yeah, and Wolf has an air out of shield, but it is not the fastest. Nair. It's frame seven, so Wolf's out of shield options aren't that great. Mm -hmm. Nothing compared to like some of the, the, the rats out of shield options and stuff. Yeah. Fox has like a frame four Nair, so his out of shield's faster than mm -hmm. Wolf's as well. Yeah, don't get us wrong, it's they're very strong, you know, he's got enough smash, you know, they they have kill potential, like especially if you mess up on like a cross up or something, but they're just not, you know, as utility or right, it's not as, as utilized as like other characters, yeah. yeah. I believe Wolf's up smash is like seven or eight-ish. So. Yeah, it's, it's relatively slow as well. So it's like, it's quick enough to mm -hmm. get a lot of good punishes, but on a lot of the top tier safe stuff, uh, no, not really. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's the net or the fair right into the grab here. Exactly what K9 wants, and yeah, Fox is eating a good 50 damage off of that. Oh, wait a minute, up B. Okay, okay. I like the yeah. jump from Eon. Mm -hmm. It respects the space of the hitbox that the up B does possess still. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, that tech chase was so scary. And we saw the roll-in from Eon because pretty much the roll-in was guaranteed I'm not dying. Mm -hmm. Because even if you get smash attacked at center stage or around center stage like that, you're, you're not going to die. But if you rolled to the edge and got dash attacked or down smash, that was going to be curtains. Mm -hmm. so here comes the up airs coming out from Eon. All the pressure in the world. But K9 in the air. The down air, wow. Good reaction from Eon. Another grab to follow. Yeah, he's been in the, he's been constantly pushing uh, K9 to the edge of like this entire stock, basically. Oh, yeah, and that's where Fox really, really thrives. Uh, his ledge trapping is very, very strong. Oh, but he catches the roll in K9 with the forward smash. Yeah. But Fox still has amazing ledge trapping and his corner pressure, one of the best in the game, and that's honestly where it gets a lot of his stocks. Mm -hmm. And what a read coming out from Eon. The up smash will seal it out. Yeah. All right, we're down to a last stock situation for K9 at least. Uh, you know, Eon still has a couple. Oh, no double jump. No double jump. Go for there. Oh, he, oh, okay. At least he didn't get pineapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was going to pineapple himself. Yeah. That would have been really yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, there's the down tilt. You want down tilt at zero against pretty much any character's Fox. Uh, the down tilt yeah. into the raw, into the raw bear or attack cancel bear can lead to many, many, many combos. Mm -hmm. Much damage. Yeah, very strong util utilized tool. All right, well, let's see. These two are relatively even right now. 
Yeah, they're yeah. respecting each other a little bit in neutral. You see, they both do the dash back. It's like, okay, what are they gonna do? Who's gonna try and push the trigger first? But it looks like Eon goes in with it, gets that neutral air dash attack up air. Ooh, tries to catch the landing. He had no uh, K9 had no jump there. Hey, down throw gonna set up off stage. Try to catch the jump with the back air. K9 still keeping the pressure up. No open jump, but Eon does land on the stage. Gets the air. Oh, gets the directional air dodge, but Eon not ready to pull the trigger, Oof. but gets the up smash off the top. Yep. K9 just a little too high in the air, and then he's like, okay, I'm gonna land with Nair. He's like, okay, we'll trade that. We'll take that any day. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I mean, Fox up smash is gigantic in this game. Uh, a move that got buffed was a very good move.